Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. Erica is off tonight. We start with new details about that massive data breach involving more than half a million Chicago Public School students and staff. Tonight, we're asking why it took months for CPS to disclose it. And CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov explains why school districts are becoming prime targets for cyber criminals. Chicago public school families began getting emails like this one late last week. Their children's information compromised in a data security breach and ransomware attack at Battelle for Kids, a CPS vendor. It states cyber criminals didn't access students' social security numbers, but they did get names, birth dates, gender, student ID numbers, and other information. There were um, over a thousand ransomware attacks on schools in 2021. Lisa Plagemeyer with the nonprofit National Cybersecurity Alliance says a child's pristine credit history makes districts attractive targets. Your child's social security number is clean. Right? It's a it's a social security number that can easily be abused for a long time. It's a growing concern the CBS2 investigators first exposed last September. If you were aware of that. After a public records request we sent to 60 of Illinois' 850 school districts, found Payless Community Consolidated District 118 had been the victim of a ransomware attack and didn't realize personal information ended up on the dark web. Think about it as a, uh, as a cyber bomb. Is how Crane Hassold explains a off. ransomware attack. Hackers lock up all of a system's data and holds it for ransom, money. In this breach involving CPS, it's not clear if Patel for Kids paid the cyber swindlers to get its data back or why it took until late April to notify the district of the December 1st breach. Cyber expert Grant Geyer. It's completely unacceptable that it took five months for CPS to be notified by, by Patel. A CPS spokesperson says they're addressing the delay, adding Battelle officials told them an independent forensic analysis was first needed to verify the breach. Flagemeyer is skeptical and says this latest attack is another call for school boards to plan. Do we know whether or not we will pay the ransom? Because that's a policy decision. Whether or not you're going to spend potentially taxpayer money to pay cyber criminals instead of pay teachers, that's that to me, that's a that's a moral decision and a policy decision. CPS is offering impacted students, which include two of my kids, free credit monitoring, and experts strongly suggest that you sign up for it. I also reached out directly to Battelle for Kids to ask them about that delay and some other questions. No response. I'm live outside CPS headquarters in the loop. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Joe. Dana, thank you. Dana has reported extensively on schools compromised by hackers. So grab your phone, scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen, and that will take you to our CBS2 investigators page. You'll see Dana's exclusive investigation into school ransomware attacks.